Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on chapter 8 which is cost and benefit analyze. This is basically a business part where you need to analyze the firstly the hardware cost section where the computer, peripherals, printer, desktop, etc are which are the hardware and their cost are measured. And now we are in the personal cost. The personal cost could be the salary, the health insurance, the vacation time, etc are the personal cost. Now facility cost you have a office and in this office you need to configure an air conditioning system so this is the facility cost which will directly connected to the user staff now the operational cost or operating cost you have a factory and you have a daily uses of el electricity so this is your operational cost this is a day to day operation system so first of all, we have some costs which are hardware cost, personal cost, facility cost and operational cost. Now moving on to the next which is the supply cost. This is the variable cost that increase with the increased use of paper, desk, etc. are the supply cost. The procedure for cost and benefit determination is to identify the cost and benefit categorize the variation select a method evaluation and interpret the results and analysis and finally take action on that cost those points which we have already discussed and those are not very important now this point is quite important which is direct or indirect cost and benefit direct cost are those which are exist figure can be directly associated in the project that in your project you need to buy a car so this is a direct cost but indirect cost are results opportunities that are not directly associated with the given system that you are doing your project but uh, for the uh, uh, season changing or climate changing you need to buy some umbrellas so this is an indirect cost which cannot be measured or uh, predefined pre uh, without uh, doing any observation or previous work. Here are some fixed or variable cost and benefit. Fixed cost means that, that those costs are fixed. That means your internet bill, your internet bill of your office is fixed, which is monthly. But variable cost means that it can be changed. That in your project you have five cars and the uses of cars in a month is not same so the cost of your fuel uh, can be increased or decreased so this can be a variable cost and benefit there are some difference between variable cost and fixed cost select evaluation methods there are some methods for select evaluation method which is very important for your exam point of view there are need benefit analyzing present value analysis need present value payback analysis break even analysis and cash flow analysis first one is the need benefit analysis in this section you have a formula which is f equals to p into 1 plus i into n where f is equals to the future value, p is present value, i is interest rate and n is the number of years. From this equation we have generated a math. So this is known as the need benefit analyzing. Need benefit means the need, uh, the total bonus minus total cost. If you have 1 million dollar in benefit then your cost is 999. So just uh, subtract that and you will get the need benefit analyze then we will move to the present value analysis present value means that you have a car the value of your car today is the present value of your uh, of your car which is known as the present value analysis the formula of present value analysis is given here now need present value analysis it is the initial investment is equals to the disc 
discounted benefit minus the discounted cost that means you have discounted benefit and discounted cost just subtract them and you will get the neat present value analysis payback analysis payback analysis is like as invi uh, investment today you uh, put $500 in your bank and after 10 years you will get the $1000 so this is a payback analysis uh, that means that the investment will pay back to you is known as the payback analysis here are some advantages and disadvantages break even analysis break even analysis means to break the even into several parts and show like a flow here we have the variable cost and fixed cost here we have two diagrams and separated them and break down them into two events so this is known as the breakdown event analysis in this event from this section we have fixed cost and this section we have variable cost which are breakdown for the analyze here we have the income section and the cost section the income section is higher than the cost section that means that we have already generated profit or benefit cash flow analyze cash flow analyze means the movement of money which is a cycle like like means that if you are going to market and you buy something then who uh, sell you something that he will go to the market and another, uh, buy another things what he wanted so this is the cash of flow that money could not stay in the place and uh, creates the flow of money is known as the cash flow analyzing here are some descriptions of those processes here is the need benefit present value need present value payback breakdown event and cash flow you can have at a glance of this okay thank you for today